Hai semua, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan selamat sejahtera. Okay, so dalam video ni, um, saya akan tunjukkan a very simple and quick demonstration on how to run a simulation for experiment 2. Okay, so macam yang kita sedia maklum, untuk minggu ni, untuk exercise 2 which is tajuknya power in axis circuit, you guys kena run the experiment by using a simulation technique. Okay, so... Uh, macam biasa, by end of the experiment, you can submit a full report contains, uh, which is ada content, ada result analysis discussion and also conclusion. Okay, and then on top of that, you can add on um, a video that uh, sh that can show me on how you perform the simulation. Okay, you can tunjukkan step by step macam mana you buat the simulation. So basically, apa yang saya harapkan adalah lebih kurang sama dengan apa yang saya akan tunjukkan kejap lagi. Okay, you can, so video tu nanti, you boleh upload ke YouTube and then you just share me the link. Okay, you boleh letak dalam uh, report tu nanti, dekat bahagian hujung sekali, link kepada video simulation tu nanti. Okay, so kita terus pergi kepada demonstration. Okay, so basically ini you punya data sheet. Okay, dan dalam data sheet macam biasa kita ada learning outcome, kita ada teori. Teori ni you boleh baca sendiri. Okay, so kita boleh terus pergi kepada activity. Okay, so basically activity, saya akan tunjukkan demo untuk activity 1 saja. So here you have a circuit configuration for activity 1, where here you have a supply. Tengok you ada 100 VAC 50 Hz. So 100, v, 100 is actually the VRMS, okay. So you ada watt meter kat sini, you ada resistive load, okay. Okay, so the first step is conduct a simulation using Porto software. So this is my Porto design suite software. So first of all, kita create new project. So, you can just rename your new project accordingly. Up to you. Okay, so for my case, I will rename it to experiment 2. So, next, next, next. Okay, so finish. So, this is the schematic diagram for my simulation. Okay, so, so I not connect the circuit. So, I can pick a device first. So, I need to find my AC source. Okay, so this is my AC source. Okay. So, I just press my AC source. Okay, how about the value? So, here I have 100 v VRMS. So, 100, uh, in order to find the amplitude, okay, V peak is equal to uh, square root 2 multiply with VRMS. So, square root 2 multiply with VRMS is 141.14. Okay, so how about the frequency? Frequency is 50 Hz. Okay, alright. So, next, I need to find the resistor. Okay, so I just put my register here. Okay, can rotate and then I can rename. Uh, sorry, I can change the value. Okay, so here the first value is two hundred ohm. So I just put here two hundred ohm. Okay. So after that, uh, I need to find my watt meter. Watt meter can be found from here, from instrument. So here is the watt meter. Alright, so next thing I need to put the ground. Okay, the ground can be found from the terminal. Ground. Okay, so ground. Here we put the ground. Right, so that's it. So now we need to connect the wire. Okay, so from the voltmeter. Okay, is that zoom to your voltmeter? Here you have a line for current. Okay, you, ha you, you saw, you nampak tak dekat sini ada... Arrow kan? So, ini line untuk current which is emitter. So, yang polarity ni adalah line untuk you punya voltmeter. So, macam biasa, emitter kita connect in series, voltmeter kita connect in parallel. Okay. So, kita sambungkan daripada supply. You boleh sambung pergi masuk ke voltmeter. So, keluar current dia pergi kepada resistor. So, resistor pergi kepada supply. So, macam biasa lah. Okay. So, sini you nak connect dekat dia punya ground. Okay. So, how about the connection for the voltage polarity? You kena sambungkan in parallel with the resistor. Okay. So, sini you boleh connect ke sini. Okay. Another one you connect ke sini. Okay. So, that's it. Dah siap. Okay. So, before kita boleh hit butang run. Okay. Kalau you tengok kini ni, kita kena um, simulate the value of power. Okay. So, dekat kita punya watt meter, you nampak tak dia ada tulis VA. So, basically, dekat dalam ni, kita boleh pilih sama ada you nak measure apa. 
reactive power or you nak measure apparent power or you nak measure real power okay so in this case kita nak measure real power so you change to watt first okay so then i can hit the run button okay you just wait okay so this is the value for the simulated real power 47.4 so you can just put here 47 point four what okay so and then lepas tu you just repeat the step for different value of load siapkan sampai habis and then here you need to calculate the value of power so how to calculate you can just use this uh, formula okay so itu sahaja untuk activity 2 you just can repeat so untuk activity 2 kita kena letak inductive load and then untuk activity seterusnya you akan letakkan capacitive load okay so that's all Thank you for watching.